Casey Kasem's body was flown to Canada a month after he died. Kasem's corpse was taken from a Washington State funeral home last week before the radio icon's daughter could enforce a court order against it being removed. Kasem's wife, Jean Kasem, said she has been blackmailed by her husband's children for 35 years. Daughter Carrie Kasem accuses her stepmother of abusing her elderly father and contributing to his death by taking him from a Santa Monica, California care facility in May and relocating him to Washington. Philip Seymour Hoffman didn't want his children to become trust fund kids, so he left his fortune to his girlfriend. Hoffman, who died of a heroin overdose in February, wrote in a 2004 will that everything would go to a friend and companion, Mimi O'Donnell, who is the mother of his three children. His accountant and the lawyer wrote the, who wrote the will said the actor repeatedly rejected their recommendations to create trust for the children. He said Mimi would take care of the children if something happened to him. James Garner, born James Bub Garner, the understated, wise-cracking everyman actor who enjoyed multi-generational success on both the small and big screens, has died. He was 86 years old. Police who were called to his residence Saturday night in Los Angeles said he died of natural causes. Garner starred in two TV hit series almost 20 years apart, Maverick in the late 1950s and The Rockford Files in the 1970s. And he was also in numerous movie roles during his career. He leaves behind his wife, Lois Fleshman Clark, of 58 years and two daughters. Shania Twain today announced the end of her two-year residency. Shania is still the one at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas with the final show set for Saturday, December 13th. Shania will have performed close to 110 shows during the course of her two years at the Coliseum, which began on December 1st of 2012. Shania was also recently named Best Resident Performer in the Las Vegas Weekly's annual Best of Vegas 2014 issue. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your entertainment this week.